Yeah, let's try this new format right here. I'm standing and talking to the camera, see how it goes. So, most of the times people follow the tutorial, they learn a few tricks and tips and you can even recreate the effect in question and that's great, but lots of people still don't know how to create an effect from scratch on their own. And that's what this video is all about today. How can you create an effect from scratch on your own? Hopefully I can help you by sharing some of the tricks that I use to come up with my own effects or at least give you an idea to unlock your potential and if you think you are doing something wrong perhaps you are actually doing something great and it's part of the process you never know and this is part of a VFX theory series that I'm creating where I give artists tips and tricks related to visual effects and a little bit to game development as well even though we are specifying on visual effects sometimes it's also applied to game development as well so rule number one know the purpose of the effect in question super generic super simple super straightforward but extremely important because if you don't know the purpose of the effect in terms of gameplay where are you going to start right that's super important ask yourself this is for what what is it for is it for a character is it something the game needs in terms of environment okay so if it is for a character what are his traits does he have a backstory okay he's an alien teenager and likes music and uses electricity to shock his enemies whenever he is angry that's a start you got teenager you got electricity and you got music those three teenager probably won't help you much but Electricity and music will certainly help you in terms of what is the theme, what is the concept. Okay, so now, what's the aspect of the game? That's something you also have to ask yourself. Is it realistic? Is it cartoonish? Stylized? 8-bit? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So what's the purpose of the ability I'm going to create? Like, in terms of gameplay, how does it work? What is it for? Is it a projectile? An area of effects? Is it a passive effect, like a buff, for example? How is it going to work in terms of gameplay, game mechanics? Because you are essentially dressing up uh, a mechanic in itself, right? You are improving visually something that's already happening. Or that you wish was happening, because you are building a portfolio, right? But keep these questions in mind as well. Rule number two, know the timings. Does it have an anticipation? Okay, it's it's an AOE, an area of effect, but certainly it has an anticipation. Because if you will look to any game, pretty much any character will have a moment of preparation. A moment where it's preparing himself to attack, right? That's the anticipation. And then you eventually you have the climax where everything happens. And then you have the dissipation eventually. So know your timings. Look at games, go watch a game, go watch any game select the character, see how it does stuff in terms of visual effects, how much time, like really measure for real the frames it takes from the moment you click and it builds anticipation and then measure another timing for what's the duration of the climax and then measure also the time of the dissipation. With these three measures, the anticipation, the climax and the dissipation, you probably have already a template in terms of timings. You get to that point where Okay, my anticipation shouldn't never be more than, let's say, half a second, for example. And the climax, probably, it's something that happens in a second, maybe even less. And then there's the dissipation that, yeah, okay, it's like a second and a half. Something like that, imagine. Now, within the climax, there's the first few frames where you really want to look, look closely and basically see what's happening there those very few frames at the beginning will tell you a lot on how it connects the anticipation to the climax and you will learn the next step which is the third rule third step calling them rules but they are not rules they are steps they are guidelines you guys but it's essentially what are the elements i'm going to need that's how you come up with your own visual effects with these three rules what's the purpose what are the timings and what's the elements I'm going to need. 
because once you have the purpose you know what you're going to do once you have the timings you know you have basically now these guidelines these frames that probably you shouldn't take longer than that and once you know the elements which is what we are going to talk about next you probably will already know where to start okay so what do i mean by elements i essentially mean what are the texts that i'm going to need what are the meshes i'm going to need what's the colors i'm going to use or at least have an idea of what colors i'm going to use because sometimes it's a lot about uh, trial and error to see what sticks and what shaders do i need if i need shaders eventually in the section of textures you probably will be wondering okay i'm gonna paint the texture is it then going to be a steel frame or is it going to be a flipbook or am I going to use a software like uh, Substance Designer or Material Maker which is a free version to create this to procedurally create this texture and then you will be wondering what kind of meshes do I need do I need a spiral do I need a cone do I need a sander what meshes do I need what have I learned from Gabriel Zagier tutorials where can I find that technique that shader that is going to be useful here to apply with this mesh you see where i'm going here i'm trying to tell you basically that you need to think before you create the effect you don't jump immediately into unity and real or good and create the effect another piece of advice that i want to give you imagine yourself as an ai and you need to feed yourself visually a lot of content Especially from games, you need to feed yourself a lot of content if you want to output something interesting, right? And make sure you have a place where you can save that content. Because later on you will be thinking, Oh, I've seen this. Where did I see this? Oh, yeah, I know. I know where it is. Okay. Because when we are creating something from scratch, it's basically a compilation of stuff that we have seen. You cannot create something you haven't seen. One last piece of advice I want to give you is there's more than one way to do something. Going back to that vertical beam, the sander could be a texture, could be a flipbook, right? But you gotta ask yourself, is this gonna be for a 3D game? Is it gonna be for mobile? So it is, it, maybe if it is for mobile, yeah, maybe I'm gonna use a texture. Another piece of advice that I can give you is do as much tutorials as you can from Gabriel Prod from my channel, because you will eventually feel more comfortable and you will, by repetition, learn new techniques and sometimes the same techniques but applying in a different, in a different way then you can come back to this video and you will see that with these three steps you can create your own effects what is the gameplay, what is the purpose what are the timings and what are the elements I'm going to need obviously in the part of the elements I always like to play when I'm when I'm at that point and I'm building the already the effect in unity or in unreal or in Godot I really like to play with colors and sizes and shapes and timings even if I already have everything on paper that was my blueprint right but now since I have the effect built I can adjust these values and play with them and see how it affects in different ways the feeling right so that's my advice to you and now you can build your own effects i hope this helps you i hope this unlocks you do not be afraid to test new things this is a lot of times is trial and error believe me a lot of times is trial and error but you eventually need to learn stuff from my tutorials or from other courses or from other tutorials and with those techniques in mind and with those tutorials in mind you will feel more comfortable when it comes to the time of building your own effects and that's it i hope this helps you so thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye guys